chicken. I'm gonna be switching between uh, soft spoken. Stuff. God, I can't talk. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's been a long day. Okay. I'm gonna be switching in between soft spoken and whispering, probably, because I just can't remember what I'm doing. Um, anyway, I went ahead and used this, which I thought I was videoing at the time, but it wasn't. But I just wanted to show you what I used. This is a base coat. Um, it's a polish here, basically. It's a gripper. This one is called Nail Life Gripper. Um, I don't even know if they make this anymore, but I, I don't think that they do. But I have another one that I would recommend to you. It is by Orly. It's called um, uh, Gripper, I think. Bonder, excuse me. And it is also a rubberized base coat. So it's kind of tacky feeling even when it dries. That it really helps the polish stay on. Okay, so I've got that done. Now I'm going to start with my colors. Um, it's getting to be fall. And it's very soon to be October. Which means Halloween, yay! Which, um, I don't know if you guys... Uh, I know in the States here, uh, we celebrate it pretty hardcore. Or some of us do. And then I know, um... I don't even know if you guys celebrate it in England and like uh, anywhere else. So, hey, if you if you do, let me know. Um, I am planning on doing a, a giveaway, um, like a Halloween haul giveaway video soon. So probably right at the beginning of October. I may actually go ahead and do it tomorrow since um, or film it tomorrow since I don't have to work. Okay, so this is a new posh. I actually just got. I haven't even tried it yet brand new. It is a texture polish. It's by China Glaze. It's called, um, Bump in the Night. I don't even know if that's gonna let you see that. But it is like, um, got a, like a grit to it, like a sand or something. So I'm gonna put that on a couple of nails just randomly here. Let's do this nail. this nail also. always found it very relaxing to watch people getting a manicure or um, something like that. Okay, and then just for the heck of it, I have this red here. Um, this was actually a special collection, also by China Glaze. I would have to say like 90% of my polishes are China Glaze. I love uh, the brand. It's really good polish. Um, this one is called Adventure Ready. And Ready is spelled R E D Y. <laughs> but this was done for a collection. I want to say it was called Out of Africa or something like that. But I don't even know if you can get this anymore. It's a really pretty color. So I'm going to do this one on the other two. With red polish, um, you do want to do a base coat because. It can stain your nail and, well, it, it will stain your nail, especially if you have natural nails or even uh, artificial nails. Um, it will stain them. A little trick you can also use, you'll use it if you ever go to a nail salon or anything like that. Go across the tip at the very end, it helps the nail polish not flake as bad or chip. I really hope you guys can see what the heck I'm doing. It's hard to try and paint your nails with the person watching them on. Oh, I don't have enough polish on there. I'm going to take it and do a little swappy across the tip there. Just to help seal that off. Okay. So 
So on this other hand, I'm going to do the opposite, I think. I'm going to do these three red and these two black. So we'll start off with the red. You can probably see this better because the way I have to hold my hand. And you also notice always try to start off with a stripe down the middle and do your two down the side. It's a little bit more difficult to do the stripe across the front. Um, maybe I won't drip this everywhere. Okay. There we go. There we go. to do this across. Okay. Also, like right now, it's getting a little, I guess the, the brush sometimes gets a little dry. Oh, you know what? I already messed up. <laughs> I got happy. Oops. And I did this one. And I was only going to do these. So I guess I'll do these three. And then I'll do this one and this one black. It's okay if it doesn't match. Unless you're OCD. I'm OCD about some things, but I wouldn't say I'm really that bad about it. <laughs> My big thing is like DVDs and CDs in their cases have to be turned the correct way. It drives me crazy if they're not. And I do like my books mostly to be in order, but um, oops, and that's when the problem's about painting your <laughs> dominant hand. I did get a little drippy, but it's okay. That's why I have this underneath there. Okay. Swap across. I'm going to give that a little bit more time to dry over here. Then I'll do my other two with my black. Sorry, you might not be able to see that. But I definitely can't paint it if I can't see it, so. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go back and give these another coat. polish is really thick because it is textured so you have to lay it on there pretty good especially for that second coat because it has all that grit in there you actually could probably get by with only the one coat but I want it to be pretty really gritty looking so that's why I'm doing the second one decided what I'm going to do just yet. I think I'm going to do some nail art for you guys too. Just some really simple stuff. Like polka dots maybe. Ooh, and I just made a boo boo. I got my whole cuticle on that one. Okay. So. I'm just going to let that dry like that. Um, oh, I, I forgot I had set these right here. This is a little Q-tip thing. It's called a nail tee. Um, 
And the thing about it is pointy. It's pointy. So I'm just gonna take that, let's see. Just run it around along that edge. And get some of that off. And mess up my black polish at the same time. Okay. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of polish remover. A little bit. Oh my god, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope this video doesn't suck. Okay. Pour a little bit of polish remover in like the cap. Like that. Just a little bit. And then I'm just gonna dip the tippy tip of that in there. Just let it soak some of that up. And that way I can sort of like detail this little area where I messed this little guy up. Just rub it on there. Bit. Okay. Go back around and fix it. I've seen people use brushes to do this also, like a very small tiny brush. Tiny, tiny, tiny brush. Oops. Okay, that's good enough for now. I'll fix it, fix it later. But you can do that too if you're more comfortable with that. Alright, so we got a coat. Here we go. second color of black on my other nails. Over here. I actually didn't cap off any of these, so I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm thinking about it. base coat done. So let's see. I'm just going to do um, some stripes. They're really easy. And this is called, well you can't even read it anymore. It's called um, Stripe Right. Um, S-T-R-I-P-E-R-I-T-E. -E. This is just black. Um, by the way, I get all of my stuff at uh, Sally Beauty Supply. Um, of course, keep in mind that a lot of this stuff is special edition. They won't have those colors anymore. And if you're not in the States, I'm sorry. I don't know where to go other than the internet. That would be my best um, advice for you to look for this stuff. Okay, now I'm going to do just some stripes down these. If I can get this stupid thing open. Okay, and you'll see this has like a long brush there. And, uh oh, it's kind of clumpy, but it's will be okay. So I just kind of take my brush, dip it in there, and then wipe it a little bit on each side. And then comes the steady hand. Um, I'm just going to do straight. 
stripes right down the middle. Like the same. And that one stripe. And I'll do another one next to it. And I'm not actually really worried about these being exactly the same thickness or anything like that. get better with practice, let me just say that. Okay. Okay, so that's that one. Like I said, I'm not really worried about it being perfect. Kind of gives it like a... Um, Maybe like a Burton-esque, like a Sin Tim Burton-esque. Or the Sin Tim Burton, that's what I mean by when I say Burton-esque kind of style to it when it's not perfect. Oh, there's something about stripes. Um, okay, and then on this one, let's see, I'll do some... Ooh, I need some glitter somewhere. Too. I could put a bow on there. That would be cute, but I can't find them now. Never mind. Let's see. Maybe dots or something like that. Okay. Sorry, guys. I've got to put it together. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'm going to do a fade. Okay. Um, This is a makeup sponge. See, it's squishy. take these and do like a ombre effect or a fade, whatever you want to call it. I'll show you how I like to do it. Okay, this is a flat white polish. Um, also, this is by Orly, O-R-L-Y. This is called Liquid Vinyl. Um, and um, it's a really good just a plain black polish. Okay, so I like to take it and dab it right here on the edge like that. Don't be like crazy stingy with it, but, um, or don't be crazy, um, what am I trying to say? Generous with it, but don't be stingy. Okay, so then you've got a little bit on your thing, and you just kind of take, and you pat it, and then you pat it gently, and with less and less pressure. Well, that didn't work at all like I wanted it to. Okay, let's try the skin. I think my polish is still a little wet. works a lot better with glitter polish. Okay. Doing a gradient. Okay. Um, you can continue to layer it till it gets more and more opaque on the nail. on the tip. And you can see how it's got like a soft fade into the red. Okay, let's see what else can I do that's simple. I could do some polka dots. Yeah. If you know anything about nails, you've seen dotting tools and things like that. Um, 
which there's nothing wrong with dotting tools, but just for a tip, something you can do if you don't have a dotting tool, is use one of these fantastic implements called a pencil. Um, as you see, I keep my like mine a little bit dull, uh, but I use this to do all my dotting with um, recently, just because I don't have any dotting tools, I've lost them somewhere. Um, take you a generous dollop of your whatever polish this since I'm doing red and black I'm gonna, red and black I'm gonna use white polish so generous dot dollop of um, your polish down there and then you take your pencil and you give it a little swirly in there don't push it to the paper just stick it in the really top of that little bubble and give it a little swirly swirl okay and then, you dot it on your nail. I'm gonna do something, let's see. Okay, it's really swirl. You don't want that to get dry. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like a fat dot to small dot, kinda fade. Just on the left corner of my nail, I think, here. The firmer you press it, the larger the dot will be, so... Just like that. Okay, and see there? No dotting tool. Just a pencil. So, what else do I want to do on these? Um, I wonder if I could draw a skull. Let's try. Use. This is looking like the nicest skull ever. <laughs> like a happy skull. And then, no, I'm gonna do the teeth. Okay, let's just turn it into a mess. Let's see. Maybe if I use my strap right here. You like the mouth. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Okay, go down over here on the side. Kiffy's? Kiffy? 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 It's not the greatest school. Whoops! Okay, well, we'll just do that on the other side. So it looks like I'm going to do that. Okay, and that is. Uh, my attempt at a skull. I'm not sure you guys can see this. I can't tell if it's in the focus or not. Okay, so there's the skull. In the spirit of Halloween. Um. And, you know. Just for the hay of it. Um. I'm gonna do this one right here. Let me watch. 
not and cool off. I'm gonna put some, um, ooh, don't, ooh, oh, this is a, a matte top coat. This one's called Matte Magic. It's by China Glaze, go figure. I don't know if you can find this anymore. Um, I also have another one. I want to say it's by NYC. I purchased it at um, a Walmart near me. I don't know if they have it anymore either. It's actually very affordable though, the NYC one. It's just a matte top coat. Um, or go to the internet. But I'm going to use this as a little dotting thing and it'll be um, what it'll do is a matte top coat it takes the shine away so I'm going to do some dots on this nail here just the middle and I'm just, I'm just gonna go crazy. Dotting everywhere. There's dots everywhere. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Let's see another hole out here. Here we go. There's a couple of. Okay, now what will happen, and you can kind of see it as it dries, just where I put those dots will be flat or matte, which means they won't have a shine there. Okay, so that is my playing round tonight. Um, I'm think nails. And, oh, well, I didn't do a top coat yet. Okay, now, I'm going to do a top coat, but I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I think that's all dry enough. Okay, I'm going to do a top coat on this. Now I'll show you the top coat that I absolutely adore. It is by Orly. Um, it's called Polish Shield, and it is super duper shiny. And it lasts a long time. Um... Now, of course, I'm not going to use it on these. I don't, you may be able to see them now that they try to see how they're like. They're gritty, like. And they also are matte, mostly from the um, polish having that um, texture to it. But I am going to put it on these others to protect them and make them shiny. But as you can see on this one, the straps are flat, which is okay, but I just don't want them flat right now while I'm shiny. So, let's move this out of the way. And here goes the final step um, before I really go back and clean, but I'm probably not going to do that with you guys watching. Alright, so, top coat, same way. And a top coat will really help extend your polish wear obviously but it also gives you a very nice um, shine if you use a good one uh, it can make a huge difference in your manicure and your paint job now like I was saying with the top coat you want to make sure any nail art you do is dry because if not, it'll smear everywhere. And not only will it just smear it and ruin your nice work you just did, it'll get on your brush, and then your brush it will contaminate your polish. Okay, no, I'm not gonna paint that one because if I do, I lose my little matte. Okay, turn my wiggling. I'm trying to wiggle this one, and my pinky's wiggling. <laughs> okay, if you paint over this with the little matte stuff then you'll lose all your matte nail art 
okay so hopefully that was relaxing and informative and fun to watch um hopefully you liked it and you got tingles went to tingle town and i guess that is it um i'm gonna clean these up the rest of the way once that polish dries really well so this is good night or good morning or good evening whatever time it is wherever you are um i hope you enjoyed the video and uh keep a watch out for my halloween haul i'm gonna be doing soon and um that's all if you like it subscribe oh uh, always as always feel free to leave me comments um or requests. I do have some requests I'm probably going to do uh, very soon. So, good night guys. Bye. Sorry this video was so all over the place.